that's good. And then the flexion. Flexion meaning? You're, you can't bend forward. Okay. So when you can't bend forward, let's do, uh, let's just, just for, for sake of argument, let's do L4, L5. So put a finger here ready for flexion. You'll get these two fingers. Come around the side and get into this, into this transverse process right here. Right where you were right there? And you don't want this one. So this finger can just kind of drift up into here a little bit, but you're holding this guy. This finger's got to get, this is where they get a little close together. And I got the wrong ones. No. And then this finger's going to grab this one. Mm -hmm. And then when you roll it back, where's, where's the movement going to be? Right there. there you go. I'm going to blast it, which is hard to see. There. there we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> see? Just by rolling it back. You don't have to pull it apart. Just roll it back from there. See? And then you get everything you want. Because you can't, you don't have enough strength to move that with your fingers. <coughs> so in this case, you start on the roll this way. And, just and there's the flexion move. Wow. If you, which, this is, which muscles, I mean, which bone is that? The spinal cord? These are the spinous processes. These are transverse processes. Transverse processes. Cool. I'm just amazed. Thank you. But that's how it works. This is very realistic. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's better be for the price. Wow. So there you go. There's your there's your science lesson for the day. And then this just turn this way and see if you test it right. And then test. Okay. Let it be a side view here. Yeah, that'll work. Looking kind of just here's your muscles, all right. So we're going to come just outside that muscle. We know that transverse process is sitting here. So we're going to turn. So we feel a little pressure to get it. Then we come back and then slide over here. And then we don't have any spasm, any restriction whatsoever. I can bring it start moving this way. <laughs> yeah. Now see. Now you're helping me. There's no. Did I bring you over? Right there. That's where it was. So that's. Well, it's, yeah, because you were, that's where it was hurting when we first started, in the same place. And so, moving forward from here, I just need to do some more, like I was doing. Yeah. You just, you just overloaded playing five soccer games. But it was good. I felt so good. Yeah. <laughs> but you're, you know, you're, you're, you, you may go in and out for a while, but here pretty soon, you'll probably last a year. You'll be done. You won't need any more. Well, it'll be good to not have to get pushed back, but <laughs> fantastic. Well, I, 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 the thing I can't get my head around with this is what do people do who can't, who don't see in the view back then? Most of them get to what I call the used to disease. I guess so. They rock along and they say their back's bad, they can't do this and they can't do that, so they just quit. They get used, I used to be able to run, I used to be able to jump. I think that's totally right. People say that all the time. Man, I used to be able to do this. And, and you know, and, and then there's the ones that, it, that to some degree get hurt three or four times, and they get the same concept because they don't want to go through the rehab process again because it is frustrating. You can speak to that. Yeah, but I was only frustrated because nobody knew what the fuck was wrong with me. I went to so many different kinds of doctors and couldn't figure out. This is like you did that, and all of a sudden I could fucking my hip was like <laughs> shaking loose. You know what I mean? Like I feel like I wasted well, eight months of my life. Well, it was 